Shut up and sit down. Well, hey, everybody. My name is Paul Abernathy, and I'm the CEO and founder of Electrical Code Academy Incorporated, and I'm also the co-author of our Grounding and Bonding course. Now, look, I serve on Code Making Panel 5. If you don't believe me, just go to the front of your code book and go to Code Making Panel 5. You'll see my name. And I have spent almost probably three-quarters of my career really digging into grounding and bonding. And I have come to learn that grounding and bonding is something that seems to be very confusing for many people all over the spectrum, whether or not you're an apprentice, a journeyman, or even a master. Um, foremans, leaders, company owners, again, don't have a firm grasp of grounding and bonding. Now, Article 250 can be difficult um, because it uses terminologies that we're kind of not familiar with. But again, the more you work it, the more you get involved in it, the more you start to understand it, and so that's why I created my grounding and bonding course, because it does a couple things. One, it immerses you in a digital environment to read and look at graphics and illustrations and call outs. But then it also tests your knowledge with reviews at the end of the unit so that you get instant feedback so that you understand how well you understood the material. Now, when it comes to grounding and bonding, it's so critical that we understand things like sizing equipment grounding conductors, supply side bonding jumpers, system bonding jumpers, how to use the proper tables, 250.122, 250.102C1, all those different aspects of it. Equipment grounding conductors, uh, and what if you have parallels and full size in each raceway, or maybe you're grounding electroconductors in 250.66 and all the nuances. Maybe if it's a ground rod and you're using 250.66A, which says it doesn't have to be larger than a six copper or four aluminum. Do you understand all those things? And can you put them in use on a daily basis? So I put together a course that fundamentally takes you from the very beginning of grounding and bonding, understanding what an effective ground fault current path is and how vital it is to understanding the concepts of grounding and bonding that moves you all the way through each subsequent section of Article 250 so that you get a firm understanding of it. Now, I don't know of any course out there that does it like this, that allows it to actually interact and give you videos and, and different things to help you fully understand grounding and bonding because, again, it is a tough, tough tough topic and we make it as easy as possible but I'm going to talk about it but let me show you a sampling of it so you get a better understanding of what it is okay so when you get in our program you'll have access to your course console over here on the right side you'll have some navigation bars and our buttons or links or icons and of course you'll notice that you have eight units and an appendix now the appendix is neat because it kind of gives you some history on things like how we got a concrete encased electrode with Herb Eufer and all the testing involved in that. Um, all of those type of things that are here, understanding ground resistance testing, uh, you know, when we get 25 ohms or less to, to earth with a, let's say a grinding electroconductor on a single ground rod so that we don't have to have two ground rods. We, all the nuances that involved in that, great documents to read and enhance that knowledge. But what you came for is to learn grounding and bonding. So we go through the very beginning from the introduction where we give you an introduction video that kind of talks about the different objectives that we're gonna have. And then you've got your course reading material. You read this material, you might have to read it multiple times. It's a lot of information. We're gonna cover everything from even the basics of what volts are, amps are, ohms are, um, because you need to understand those principles as you move through Article 250 will become critically important to understand certain definitions and topics that are really going to enhance your knowledge. So that's all in this course. We even have assessments. So after you do the reading material, you will take the assessment and it will test your ability to retain the information that you just read. But here's the neat thing. Even when you're doing these assessments, and I'll give you an example of what an assessment looks like. So I'm doing the uh, assignment that's in the assessment. And let's say I'm reading this and I'm thinking, oh, I don't remember it then you can always open up the book. You can have access to the course book even while doing your assessments. So if I click the course book, you can open it. And of course, we're at the introduction. So here's the introduction. And you get to read all this material again. And if a question has something to do with one of these, you can just si simply click on the link and it will take you right there to that information to help you answer the question. Again, this is immersion type of training. You're looking at the book, but you're also following the course material. And when you need to, 
please feel free to go to the National Electrical Code, uh, especially Article 250 is quite extensive. And so this course tries to break that all down for you. So you answer a question, you can check your work to see if you got it right or wrong. Um, all of that is interactive for you as you're trying to learn the concepts of grounding and bonding. Okay, so you answer your questions again at the end. You can submit them for grading, but you'll get your answers instantly when you do the assessment. So you move through the units. Again, you can get the general. We have an intro video. We have the reading material. The overview is basically what I cover in the video that's the intro video. And of course, after you do all the reading material, you got your assessment again. And it's going to simply continually test your knowledge of grounding and bonding. Now, in this concept, let's go to the reading material real quick because I want to show you some features. Now, they're very similar to the same features we have in our Fast Tracks program, our residential wiring, commercial wiring our industrial wiring, and even our Electricity 101 course, very similar features. For example, let's say I want to read this to me. Um, again, I want to read the whole thing. I could highlight it all, but I bring up this chart. When I left click and highlight, it says read text. Now check this out. Keep in mind that these requirements in 250.4, parenthesis, A, in parenthesis, refer to the system and electrical equipment being grounded or connected to Earth. So you can actually have it read it to you. And we call this ballistic training because you're going to read it, but you're following along, like following the bouncing ball. So you hear it, you see it, and it helps you retain it. Okay, we first use this in our Fast Tracks program with a super high success rate on our students. And we found that it works equally well throughout the entire course. Even if you're not studying for an exam, you're trying to learn a topic. So that is a really neat feature. Now, all of our courses also work on any browser-based platform. So whether or not you're using a Mac or a PC or an Android phone or an iPhone to iOS, it doesn't really matter because as long as you have a browser, you can log into your console, uh, you get to change the size, pinch to zoom, and everything like that. But you also get to change the text directly in the program as well if you want to make it larger or smaller depending on the size of the screen you're dealing with. Okay, So you've got that feature. Also, you can bookmark any page. Let's say I'm reading this material, I'm tired, I wanna stop, and I wanna stop at 250.4a, click your bookmark. So let's say I close it down and I come back later. Then you can go over here to what's called Study Hub. Now Study Hub allows you to click on it, you can go to your bookmarks, and again, in our case, we go to our bookmark, which is right here, and here's where we're at, 250.4a, and we can pick up where we left off. If you wanna clear this bookmark, just click that, and it'll clear the bookmark, uh, and you can go on your merry way. Now, if there's something in here that's significantly important to you that you want to ask us about or something you just don't understand, I can left click again, drag it over it. And let's say I'm going to go to this right here and then the pop-up will come up and I can highlight it. Now, when I highlight this, it does something because you need to continue working on in the course, but then you go over to your study hub and you click on the highlights and you'll see that we have highlighted something in unit one. So click on unit one. This is the exact information that we've highlighted right here. So you can also click on the arrow and it will actually take you to that in case you close down your course material and then you can pick up where you left off. Now, if you want to send this information to us because you don't understand it, then you can left click, drag over it. And then when you come off, you can right click and you can copy it and you can paste this in an email. And you can also paste it in the study hub, which is a unique um, social media platform that is exclusive to us here at Electrical Code Academy. Just go to the, the uh, Sparky hub Dot com, the sparkyhub.com. I don't know what I called it, but it's called the sparkyhub.com. So check that out as well. All right, so you have all these features. If you want to unhighlight it, you just simply highlight it again and you can say remove highlight, all that. And if you want to print anything, you can print it at any time. We're perfectly acceptable to do that. If you want to search something, you can actually search. So let's say I want to search for GFCI and I click it, and anywhere that there's a topic on GFCI, it'll come up. You can click it in unit eight, for example, there's a topic about GFCI and you, it'll be incorpor incorporated into this program. Here's your ground fault circuit interrupter right here. This unit happens to deal with um, healthcare facilities. So there you go. You can search through it with the search feature any way you want through the program as well. All right. You can also check, you got flashcards and you can also check your grade by this little green. I don't know if you can see it in the bottom right of your screen, a little button here, you click it. And it would allow you to be able to see all of your grades and assessments and things like that that you've accumulated through the course. Okay. So it's a truly powerful system. There's a lot of information here, the grounding and bonding, all the aspects of sizing, supply side bonding jumpers, system bonding jumpers, grounding electroconductors, 
uh, equipment ground conductors, even when there's multiple raceways, all those things are all covered in this program. We talk about it from the very beginning and we work our way up through grounding and bonding Article 250, section by section by section. It is a course that every electrician should utilize because grounding and bonding is fundamental. You need to understand it. This course literally breaks it down with great illustrations, great graphics that actually depict applications and installations. It really helps you understand it, and that's why we're so excited about this grounding and bonding course. So if you're interested in it, down in the description, we'll have links to it. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us and we'd be more than happy to answer them for you. But again, grounding and bonding, fundamental to being successful in the electrical industry. It's the safety circuit. So check it out. Until next time, stay safe. God bless. Shut up and sit down.